Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you. End of June, 27th. Wow. Almost at the halfway point. Um, just a reminder, half year end, the fix is going to be bigger than usual. The fun and games will start tomorrow. Uh, with equities here, even after the recent sell-off, I think we're going to be selling dollars on this fix. But we'll have to see where equities close today, so just keep an eye on that. We'll update that a little bit later. As far as currency pairs, dollar yen, lots of option expiries around 110, 109.60. A few yards here, a few yards there is going to make this a slog one way or the other. The strategy today would be to sell uh, anything over 110.20 and buy uh, anything below 109.30 going into 4 o'clock. The only caveat to that is be careful buying dollar yen if equities do turn and there's some sloppiness from Trump or whatever. Um, Aussie yen, interesting. See this head and shoulders that everyone's been talking about. Uh, it broke on this hourly, four hourly bar overnight. It bounced, but now we're going to look at it on a daily close basis or an hourly close basis. So the way I'm going to treat this is if in, if, if we get an hourly close below 81, the figure, we're 0304 now. Uh, we're going to be core short Aussie yen with a stop uh, above 20, 8120. So that could be interesting today, and that could be a way to uh, make some money. Elsewhere out there, we have Euro, which is just bopping around. Uh, not really sure what to do with this. We, we kind of visited 40 overnight. Now we're at 50, middle of the range. There's going to be a lot of people who are going to draw this line here. Uh, let's see. Extended. This is going to be drawn by many technicians. You see shoulder, head, shoulder, yada, yada, yada. Um, so you're going to have to keep it in mind. There will be some selling through 40 today and probably through 30 now just because of this pattern. What does it all mean for me if I'm going to put it all together? Euro yen looks like kind of an interesting way to exercise kind of a mildly negative dollar yen view and a mildly negative euro dollar view. As you know euro yen has done nothing in the last two days. Where is the point where we can confirm shorts? Hmm, not super clear. Maybe core short euro yen. I don't know. Actually I don't know off that. We're gonna stick with our Aussie yen shorts uh, if we get an hourly close below the figure and we're just going to keep an eye on things. We got Carney speaking this morning in Europe and we've got Polots, the Canadian dude, speaking very very late in Europe. I believe kind of like 8 or 9 p.m. Swiss time. So these are the things to watch out for. Plus the option expiries. And with that I wish you a good trading day ahead. Bye!